Welcome everyone to tableinfo.com. Subscribe now to my channel if you have not done yet. Don't miss to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates. So today we are going to talk about set action. This is one of the latest addition to Tableau software, which is uh, getting popular day by day. So let's uh, let's just get started with it. Light camera and action. So today we are going to introduce set action. I'll have a couple of examples for you. We'll create cross highlight action, and we'll create proportion action as well. I'll share a download workbook link with you as well. So what are set action? A set action change the values in a set that makes you to interact with your dashboard directly now. You'll have to create this in Tableau Desktop. Now there are two ways to create set action. Either the set should be in a calculated field or you will have to place the set in the view or marks card. This will make more sense when I will show you hands-on example on the same. So let us move towards the hands-on example and let me also show you that what we are going to achieve today. So this is crops tab highlighting. which is helping me to create cross tab highlight. After that, we will also learn how to create proportional brushing. For example, here I can see the consumer proportion on the right hand side across all the subcategories. We will do it step by step so that you can learn it in a better way. So first of all, we'll uh, make use of or we'll try to create cross tab highlighting. For that, we have already created few parameters, which are very simple. So let me just show both the parameters. So these parameters are created so that you can dynamically select a region or segment as far as X axis is concerned. Similarly, for Y axis, you will be able to create category and subcategory. We have created additional uh, calculated fields, for example, X, which is case X axis. That means uh, dynamically with the help of parameters, you can select either region or segment. Similarly, we have created the same for Y axis as well. So now we will uh, just drag and drop maybe we will swap the fields and also we will uh, drag the sales okay we should uh, yeah this is a view that we want hide the field hide the y okay so first of all we will create i will create set set on x You need not to select anything, just create a set. Similarly, you will be creating a set for Y. Again, don't select anything. So I already have set X and set Y. Now, uh, as I said earlier as well, that either you will go with the calculated field or you will place the set in the view. This very particular example will make use of set in the calculated field. So we are creating a calculated field called highlight. That means if set X or set Y, then one else minus one. So you know that we have created set on this, which is this x axis, and set y on y axis. So now we need to 
tell Tableau to make use of this set with the help of actions. So now you, when you click on add action, you will see a new option for you that is change set values. I'll make it a hover set X. We can say set on set X target set under the data source sample superstore. And here we are going to select set X. May remove all values like this. Similarly, we'll create. Again, we'll make the same changes. Now, I will drag highlight two to color. That will give me an option. I will have to make certain changes over there. Hey, here you go. We can simply apply the cross tab highlighting. Now we'll try to understand proportional brushing. So as I told you earlier as well that either you go with set in a calculate field that we have already done. Now we will try to understand the second one, place the set in the view or marks card. So here you have pretty simple worksheets over there, just track segment, sum of sales. And for this category, just track some of sales and subcategory. So if you see, we are making use of uh, sales by segment. So we have to create set at segment. So we have created a set on segment. But we'll have to apply this set at the target sheet. So this is our target sheet. So we'll drag it to color. That you have to do. Now, if I just create a, if I just unhide, and both are already Maybe I'll create a new uh, so you will get to know from scratch. So, you know, we have created a set on segment, and now we are trying to create the proportional action. So, I'll go to dashboard, I'll say action, and I'll add an action, change set values. Here, the source sheet would be sales per segment. And target data source with sample superstore and set would be set segment. So this should be my source sheet and this should be my target set. My source sheet is acting upon the set at my target sheet, which is at sales by subcategory. So if I go back again, you can see that we created this set and we dragged this set at the target sheet or we are my target set is residing at sales by subcategory 
So now I go back. One thing that you need to do is to select correct run action on. Now, so this is the best option that I have. Now you can do the proportional brushing as well. So I hope this video has made some sense. And uh, again, this is the time to subscribe, like and share this video if you think that this will be useful for others as well. This is Ritesh signing off from tabloinfo.com. See you soon.